four types of the lakes are there salt water fresh water artificial lakes artificial lakes now the what's the role of the rivers in economy role of rivers in economy what's the significance of a rivers and the lakes in the economy rivers rivers provide as a water for the agriculture for tai lands alluvial plains of india are the result of a deposition of a sediments brought by the river to its incourse and a deposit at their valleys which resulted as the formation of a punjab haryana uttar pradesh plains alluvial plains of india due to as a large number of rivers in india alluvial soil is the most widely spreaded over a landmass of india most extensive area extensive area of india is spread under the alluvial soils second rivers are a source of water for the domestic and industrial needs rivers they play as an important role in a uh, important role in growth of industries urbanization navigation navigation rivers play the important role for a generation of hydro electricity hydel power stations dams which are built across the rivers dams built across the rivers supports for a generation of a hydro electricity a number of dams built on a rivers are sardar sarovar on a narmada hirakot on a mahanadi bhakra nangal on satluj teri dam on a head stream of a ganga teri on ganga etc nagarjuna sagar on krishna metur shiv samudram on a kaveri rivers so this number of a dams helps for a generation of a hydro electricity generation of hydro electricity rivers are also the source of the marine life fish pc culture is a practice in a larger in a parts of a those uh, those rivers those rivers of a himalayan originate which are presently as the tributaries of a larger rivers as fish production for fish production rivers are used growth of the fishes etc clear so last as a ganga action plan ganga action plan initiated by the government of india in the 1985 ganga action plan introduced by the government of india in the 1985 according to which as a government took as a efforts it took efforts for a cleaning of a ganga that ganga river which polluted by their cities located at its basin ganga river basin lucknow lucknow haridwar allahabad these cities their water domestic waste water industrial waste water it has directly discharged in a ganga river which pollutes it which is as the impact over the marine life of ganga especially the gangetic dolphins gangetic dolphins their population is affected as a larger in number due to the pollution increase in a ganga river system so such amount of our pollution reduced by the ganga action plan which earlier initiated to clean a ganga to make ganga as a free from pollution till 2000 but now as a re initiated till the 2020 25 in the, uh, ganga it will be as a freed from a pollution for a proper implementation of a ganga action plan for which as a national river conservation plan national river conservation plan initiated in a 1995 1995 in this process as a, all those rivers which are polluted in a large number for which as a government putting their efforts for which as a yamuna their protection in punjab there are the rivers satluj and the byas these are protected by the number of the social activists one of them is a sant balbir singh sichewal which put their efforts for a conservation of our water resources balbir singh sichewal efforts it has given their effort for a conservation of our river water of a byas and satluj byas and satluj the causes which are responsible for the river water pollution in india are what are the causes responsible for the river water pollution are first 
rivers used for a bathing and a washing purposes for washing of clothes washing of clothes religious ceremonies religious ceremonies are also influenced as some of the extent which leads to the river water pollution religious ceremonies in rivers next rivers are carrying the larger account larger quantities of a domestic and industrial waste industrial and domestic waste which leads to the river water pollution industrial and domestic waste water discharge in a river water for example as a yamuna yamuna drains as a domestic waste of delhi domestic and industrial waste of delhi example yamuna next rivers which are used for inland waterways inland waterways due to the oil spillage oil spillage leads to the river water pollution oil spillage from ships and boats leads to the which leads to the river water pollution oil spillage leads to the river water pollution next ek modern inputs of farming modern inputs of farming which includes fertilizers excessive use of fertilizers insecticides weedicides which leads to such number of a uh, materials chemical materials when they mix with the rain water they go towards as a streams and pollutes the rivers which pollutes the rivers which pollutes the rivers clear this was our chapter drainage any questions at the beginning we discussed we started as a discussion of a chapter from a drainage patterns drainage pattern is generally carved by the river in its course with their tributary when the river flows to the different gradients slope of a region volume of a water velocity of a water types of a rocks nature of a rocks influence as a formation of a different types of a drainage patterns in which we discuss as a trellis trellis rectangular radial centripetal then uh, parallel pattern and dendritic pattern dendritic pattern then we discuss as a river system drainage systems drainage system means growth of river and its tributaries in a passage of time in a passage of time afterwards sorry in drainage system we discuss as a two of the drainage systems himalayan river system second as a peninsula river system himalayan rivers which are originated from the glaciated parts of the himalayas which are a perennial in nature flow throughout the year like ganga indus and brahmaputra river system and second peninsula river systems are a seasonal in nature they are getting the water through the monsoonal rain through rain in a particular months of the year limited period of a year they are filled with water afterwards they dry under such circumstances peninsula river system they in peninsular river systems most number of the areas the drainage basins of a rivers are having as a water scarcity because of the seasonal nature of a rivers seasonal nature of rivers makes as a water scarcity in extensive areas of a peninsular india so peninsular river system divided in two parts westward flowing rivers like narmada tapi mahi sabarmati loni and eastward flowing rivers kaveri krishna godavari mahanadi clear we discuss in this chapter as the three courses of a river upper course in which river having as a high velocity high velocity due to the steep sided slopes of a mountains under such circumstances river engaged in a deep water erosion downward erosion for example gorges canyons v shaped valleys v shaped valleys waterfalls are resulted on a upper course of a river at this stage the river is a youthful in stage second stage mature stage of a river middle stage of river when river starts to cut their sides when the river leaves a mountains enters in a plains suddenly decreases their velocity decrease in a velocity resulted as a formation of a plains alluvial plains in such parts as a meanders river start to flow according to the slope of a region which makes the meanders loops cut it from the main course of a meander named as a oxbow lake river when can't carry as a larger boulders it start to deposit in its course which leads to formation of a riverine islands 
and when river river water river water their streams are flow along the riverine islands known as a braided streams clear next the lower course of a river river old stage of river it is a mouth of a river where the river reaches at the mean sea level due to as a extremely low gradient low gradi gradient gentle slopes river starts to divide into, into the smaller distributaries smaller distributaries and a deposit the sediments in its bank in its course which leads to the formation of a deltas estuaries levees and distributaries clear and afterwards uh, at the last lakes water bodies surrounded by the landmass named as a lakes lakes categorized into the four categories on the basis of their availability and the presence first tectonic lakes which are the resultant of convergent and divergent movements due to which as a depressions occur on a surface filled with water melted from glaciers and the rain water second fresh water lakes rivers which are sorry those lakes which are the result of the accumulation of a rain water on a surface are the sources of the fresh water sources of fresh water these fresh water are the sources of a rivers third salt water lakes most number of salt water lakes are located on a coastal regions of a kerala and a odisha in odisha as a chilika which is an example of a lagoon when depressions are filled with the depressions are filled with the saline water during the high tides known as a lagoon example chilika when when the gentle areas when the mean sea level it becomes as the similar to the land similar to the land which resulted the formation of formation of a brackish water bodies b r a c k i s h this is also example of a salt water lakes these are preferably lies in a parts of a kerala vembanand vembanand in kerala in rajasthan the formation of a salt water lakes is the result of a excessive evaporation under high temperature under high temperature next the artificial lakes when humans they are manufacturing they are making as a lakes for their recreation or generation of a hydroelectricity are the artificial lakes and in the end we discuss as a ganga action plan initiated in 1985 which modified into as the nrcp national river conservation plan in 1995 1995 for a conservation of all those rivers of india conservation of rivers of india from pollution clear so next chapter as a climate climate next chapter climate next is the now climate climate is concerned about the atmospheric conditions prevailing in a region atmospheric conditions prevailing in a region weather and climate both works as a side by side the weather keeps as a changing from hour to hour hour to hour and a day to day weather is a atmospheric conditions which are changes hour to hour and day to day for a shorter tenure of time which are related to the particular period of time particular period of time means when we are talking about atmospheric conditions of a jp nagar we will use the word weather weather of a jp nagar it may vary from the adarsh nagar or shakti nagar clear but the climate is a extensive word the broader term which means as long term atmospheric conditions prevails in a extensive area when we talking about the atmospheric conditions of a punjab or india or south eastern asia eastern asia or asia or a, or uh, then we will use as a, or in northern hemisphere we will use the word climate climate is a broader term which has concern about the concern about the atmospheric conditions prevails in extensive area atmospheric conditions prevailing in a extensive area for a longer duration of time climate of an area changes hour to hour day to day but the sorry weather of a area particular place changes hour to hour or day to day climate of a country which changes as a 30 to the 40 years 30 to 40 years the elements of a climate includes as a rainfall forms of a rainfall forms of rainfall which includes 
dew frost dew frost hail dew frost hail fog water droplets snow these are the forms of a rain second temperature third humidity fourth atmospheric pressure atmospheric pressure fifth prevailing winds all these are the all these are the elements of a climate elements of climate next the elements of the weather are elements of weather are which includes as a temperature and precipitation only rainfall and precipitation rainfall and temperature rainfall and temperature associated with the particular place of a area in jp nagar when the rain has recorded rain occur in a same time may be possible that the rain not occur in adarsh nagar shakti nagar mahira gate maksuda such differences are due to as a weather it's due to the weather clear next is the factors which are affecting as a climate of world climate of a world which are influenced by a certain number of factors are there factors are there the latitudes first latitudes on equatorial areas the low latitudes generally there are the high temperature has prevails throughout the year due to the high temperature more evaporation and more precipitation occur on equatorial areas 0 to the 10 degree northern and southern parts daily as a rain has received daily rain record due to the vertical sun rays makes as a possibilities of a more evaporation and condensation process more evaporation and condensation as compared to the equatorial areas as compared to the equatorial areas the polar regions they are receiving as a less amount of rain less amount of rain clear next the altitude when we move the upward direction temperature decreases temperature decreases during as a months of a june plains of a indus and a ganga they are experience as a hot and dry summer conditions hot and dry summer conditions weather conditions are prevailing over a great plains of india in a same time on a himalayan regions the temperature is a low that decrease in the temperature is due to the normal lapse rate decrease in temperature with increase in altitude with increase in altitude decrease in temperature that decrease in temperature has decreases with the rate of after 165 meters of height 1 degree celsius temperature decreases 165 meters of height 1 degree celsius or one after every 1000 meters means 1 kilometers of the height 6.25 degree celsius temperature decreases 6.25 degree celsius temperature decreases and this drastic fall in a temperature continues till the extent of a troposphere its average height as a 13 to the 14 kilometers from a mean sea level troposphere till that extent as a fall in temperature has recorded fall in temperature continuously has recorded on a surface till the height of a till the extent of a troposphere extent of troposphere clear till there any questions any questions next distance from the sea when we move away from the water bodies the areas are experiencing as the areas experiencing as the extreme weather conditions the land locked areas they are experienced as the extreme weather conditions extreme weather conditions that's why in a southern states coastal parts of india coastal parts of gujarat maharashtra goa karnataka kerala tamil nadu andhra pradesh odisha they are experiencing as some moderate weather conditions throughout the year it's due to as a do sea breezes sea breezes the movement of the wind from a sea to land which decreases as a surface temperature of surface temperature of their adjoining areas as they are compared as compared to the coastal regions land locked conditions the land locked areas they are experiencing as a extreme weather conditions during summers are too hotter during winters as a too cooler but <coughs> it's due to as a dry winds which are blowing from a land to the sea land breezes makes as the 
land breezes mix as the extreme weather conditions prevailing over a extreme weather conditions prevailing over the landlocked areas delhi delhi amritsar jalandhar they are experiencing as the extreme during the summer as a too hotter till the 46 47 degrees celsius temperature recorded in a plain such plains of india and during as a winters temperature as recorded as the during winters as 0 degrees celsius 0 degrees celsius during the winters during summers as a 47 48 degrees celsius temperature recorded clear fourth factor affecting as a climate of the earth as a distance between sun and earth distance between sun and earth influence the climatic conditions of a different regions for example earth earth rotates around the earth revolves around the earth revolves around the sun in a elliptical orbital plane elliptical orbital plane the total distance in between of a earth and sun when it is as a nearest to is it when earth is nearest to the sun in that state the total distance in between of the both as a 147.1 million kilometers 147.1 million 47.1 is a perihelion situation and aphelion situation when the distance between earth and sun as a maximize 152.1 million kilometers 152.1 million kilometers if the sun rays cross a longer distance in a state of the aphelion more absorption of a sun heat by the atmosphere those elements which are present in the atmosphere they will absorb the incoming solar radiation insulation means incoming solar radiation sunlight incoming solar radiation more absorption will occur on a occur by the atmosphere means gases dust particles and water vapors water vapors but in other state perihelion state when the distance between earth and sun as a minimum under such circumstances less absorption it will be as a recorded it will be as a occur by the atmosphere under such circumstances under such circumstances there will be as a more heat received on a earth surface earth surface a fourth factor influencing as a climate of the earth fifth factor influencing the factor of the earth over equator sun rays fall vertical over equator equator to the tropical areas and sun rays are fall vertical over the yes now i am audible now voice is clear abhi theek hai now is it clear now is it clear okay <coughs> when sun rays sun rays they may fall as a vertical over equator vertical over equator this state is known as a equinox if the sun rays are a vertical over equator means has a more heat receives on a equatorial areas or a torrid zone 0 to 23 and half degree north to the south 0 to 23 and half degree north and south the more heat it will be as a receiving comparatively the comparatively the poleward areas poleward areas when sun rays sun rays they are moving towards as a poleward regions due to as a curvature curvature of the earth surface less heat has receiving on a earth surface it's due to as a distance more distance covered by the sun rays to travel and reach over the su surface of the earth crust surface of the earth crust but as compared to this the situation of equinox equinox when the sun rays are fall may fall vertical over equator vertical over equator it has happens twice in a year twice in a year it happens as a twice in a year when sun rays are fall vertical over a equator these are the months of a march and march and september september 21st of june 21st of june sun rays are fall vertical over a 23 and a half degree tropic of cancer 
23 and half degree 23 and half degree tropic of cancer as the opposite as 22 or 23 of december sun rays are fall vertical over a tropic of capricorn tropic of capricorn this state is known as a winter solstice winter solstice it is known as a summer solstice summer solstice this state is known as a winter solstice when sun rays are fall vertical over may fall vertical over capricorn and when sun rays are fall vertical over equator as the equinoxes equinox equinox so 23rd of march 22nd 23rd of march sun rays fall vertical over equator 0 degree 0 degree on equator afterwards sun rays moving towards the 21st of june tropic of cancer again as a 23rd of september on a equator then the 22nd 3rd december of a tropic of capricorn again moving towards earth so most of most of the times sun rays they may fall vertical over the vertical over the torrid zone torrid zone 0 to 23 and half degree northern and the southern parts which has influenced the climate of area when sun rays are a fall vertical over a torrid zone more heat receiving on a torrid zone comparatively temperate and frigid zone as compared to temperate and frigid zones these are the factors the major factors influencing as a climate of earth which are influencing as the climate of earth other factors for example as a differential characteristics of land and water water having as transparency river water ocean sea waters these are having as a transparency and neither static under influence of a prevailing winds water bodies are a, their water has a moving from one place towards other one place towards other so under such circumstances heat which has a concentrated on a water bodies it has spread in a larger extensive area which this is the reason responsible for the reason responsible for the longer time taken by the water bodies for their heating and cooling processes as their opposite land surfaces they are not having as a transparencies so when heat concentrated on a land which heated the land surfaces as a sudden in way same as they cools down land surfaces are cools down that's why during as a summers during summers in deserts daytime temperature receiving as a high due to the vertical sun rays in a rajasthan gujarat makes the high temperature in night time when the temperature released by the earth surface through the process of a re-radiation process of re-radiation through which as a this such parts of rajasthan and gujarat has experienced as a low temperature in a midnight high range of temperature recorded in a desert areas high range of temperature recorded in a desert areas which are experiencing as a extreme weather compared to the coastal and the centralized parts of a country clear these are the major factors influencing as climate of a world climate of world next now the factors which are affecting as a climate of india india's climate this is as a tropical as well as a subtropical climate india's climate is a tropical as well as a subtropical climate tropical in the sense the areas which are located at the south of a tropic of cancer means gujarat madhya pradesh maharashtra karnataka goa tamil nadu kerala odisha telangana andhra pradesh these states are lies andaman nicobar islands lakshadweep islands they are located as the south of a tropic of cancer south of tropic of cancer which are experiencing as a tropical weather conditions as their opposite north of a tropic of cancer these regions are the subtropical regions sub tropical regions which are experienced as the extreme weather conditions these states includes jnk punjab haryana rajasthan uttar pradesh bihar arunachal pradesh sikkim west bengal bihar states they are located north of a tropic of cancer which experience the extreme weather conditions extreme that's why we call india's climate is a tropical as well as sub tropical climatic conditions prevailing in our country we use in context of india's climate as a monsoons we use the term monsoons in context of india's climate monsoon term derived from the 
Arabic word which means Arabic word mosim, which means as a reversal of winds. Reversal of winds. Earlier, those winds which move from a south towards a north, sea towards a land. Afterwards, they start to move from a land towards a sea. Land towards sea or a north towards southward. Reversal of winds. Monsoons makes as a difference in between of a summers and winters. Summers which are running in our country, experienced in our country in a March, April, and May. Afterwards, as a June, July, August is an advancing monsoon season. September, October are the retreating monsoon season. In November, December, January, February, as again winters begin. So, in between of a summers and a winters, break is caused by the monsoons. That's why we call India's monsoon, India's climate is a monsoon also. India's climate is a monsoon. The term monsoon derived from the Muslim word, Arabic word of a Muslim, which means as reversal of wind. This type of a climate, this monsoon type of a climate is found mainly in the South and the Southeastern Asian countries. Despite an overall unity, overall unity and commonality in the general pattern, there are the perceptible regional variations in climatic conditions within a country. The temperature touches as a high as 55 degrees Celsius in the Western deserts during as a summer seasons, whereas it drops down as the low as minus 45 degrees Celsius in a upper altitudinal parts of a JNK in Siachen Glacier, in Siachen Glacier, in Leh Ladakh during the winter season. Similarly, as the variations are the noticeable not only in the type of the precipitation, but also in its amount also. Northeastern states, Assam, Meghalaya receives a plenty of a rainfall due to the excessive rain recorded in a Meghalaya, the world's wettest place situated at this state named as a Mosinam, which receives more than 1200 centimeters located in a east of a country. As their opposite, west of a country, Jaisalmer, Barmer, they are receiving as a less than 20 centimeters annual rainfall. Such kind of a differences the variations recorded in a physiography as well as climatic conditions of India. Is that clear? So today, this much we discuss as a factors affecting as a factors affecting the climate of climate of Earth. That's it. Rest we will continue in our next class. Any questions? Any questions? Any question next period we will discuss regarding as a factors affecting climate of India, which includes jet streams, Himalayas, jet streams, Himalayas, latitudes, latitudes, prevailing conditions of a conditions prevailing in us surrounding regions of India and varied reliefs, reliefs of India. They are also influencing as a climate of India, impact over a climate of India. Clear?